I get asked by students all the time about my background and about how I became a business analyst and eventually how I got into online teaching with the BA Guide. So I wanted to record this lecture just to serve a purpose of giving you my story and tell you a little bit more about me. Many years ago, I was working as a sales manager. I wasn't really happy in that role. The career path really wasn't for me, but it was paying the bills. But one fateful day, my boss asked me to be part of a project. And this project was building a new sales order process system so we didn't have to call in to the toll-free number and wait on hold forever just to put in the sales that we had confirmed. Little did I know at that time that this project would completely change my life. My role in the project is I was giving the business requirements. So I was working hand in hand with the business analyst to make sure that our requirements were known, documented, and that the system as it evolved through was meeting our business needs. About halfway through the project, I looked at the business analyst and I said, I want your job. Your job is awesome. I would love to do what you're doing with gathering requirements and documenting requirements, creating diagrams and just finding solutions to business problems. That night I went home and I researched a business analyst position. I had heard of the role before, but I really didn't have that much idea of what specifically they did on a day-to-day -day basis. And I fell in love. I loved everything that I was reading about it. And I knew that that was the career path that I wanted to go on. And no matter what, I was going to become a business analyst. At the end of that project, I put in my two-week notice and I went back to college for a business analyst degree. So as I'm going to college for a business analyst, I'm working through my courses. I'm really solidifying the fact that I love business analysis. I'm loving college. I'm loving the classes. I'm loving learning and just loving life. It was perfect. And one day I went on to Indeed.com and was just looking for business analyst positions that were available. And what would you know? The company that I was working as a sales manager for was hiring a business analyst. I quickly put together my resume and sent it in. And three interviews later, I landed the job. And I couldn't believe it. I was now a business analyst. Over the next two years, I grew my skills, enhanced my knowledge, solved business problems, and I actually get offered a promotion to become an IT manager. Of course I accept, and now I manage 12 business analysts, and I'm working some of the high-end projects for the company. A few years later, I actually landed a job as a delivery manager for a local consulting company. And as a delivery manager, I manage business analysts and project managers and developers. So I really was widespread, not just in business analysis. Six months after taking that position, it was starting to get stale and I didn't know why. But after a little self-reflection, I realized that as a delivery manager, I was hiring a different caliber of business analyst than I was at the previous company. So the previous company I was hiring new business analysts or business analysts that had two or so years of experience. Working as a consulting manager, I was hiring business analysts with five to 10 years of experience. And when you hire that differently, the coaching changes. I wasn't doing as much coaching as a delivery manager as I was in my previous role and I really missed that. So I decided, hey, if I can't teach people at my company, why don't I go online and teach people? So I looked in some options like tutoring and doing uh, various things and came across online courses. A few months later, I put my first course out and set it out there and was helping students and everything was good again. I felt like I was being able to give back. I was that void of not being able to coach was being fulfilled through the online coaching and I was working my delivery manager position during the day. Little did I know that that one course would turn into two courses, would turn into three courses, and would eventually become my biggest passion. In late 2016, I left my position as a delivery manager and took up private business analyst consulting with some local companies. So during the day, I was doing my business analyst consulting role, and at night, I was running the BA Guide. And now, as of October 2nd, my dreams come true. I'm doing the BA Guide full-time. I'm creating content and new courses to help as many students as I possibly can. Well, that's my background. Now you know a little bit more about me. Get back to learning.